Hello and welcome to Krista's of Crafting. My name is Krista. I really appreciate you being here. If this is the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some seat belt covers, you know, that go on the seat belt so that when you're sitting in there, it's not digging into your neck. These are very, very quick and easy to make and you can make them in different sizes. So this I've made as a small one. So this fabric was seven inches by 10 inches and I used a piece of Velcro that was eight inches long. And that's what I made this one from. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an adult size one. This would be so good for a child. The one I'm going to show you today, I'm going to use this sunflower fabric. It's got beautiful blues and greens in there, of course, with the sunflowers. That's going to be the front. In the back, I'm using a solid green, and I'm also using a piece of batting and some Velcro, and that's all you need. So let's just jump right into this and get started right away. For your main, for your fabric, your front and your back, you're going to need two pieces of fabric, however you wanna do it, they can be the same, they can be different, 12 inches by seven inches, okay? So 12 inches by seven inches. Your batting will be the same thing, 12 inches by seven inches, and you will need a nine inch piece of Velcro. Let's get going. So I wanted to point out one thing. With this, I am using cotton material. Absolutely, perfectly fine to use cotton material. But if you wanted something that was a little bit softer on the neck, you could use like a polar fleece. You could use like a Sherpa kind of, looks like sheep's wool, you know, type thing on the outside. And that would make it really, really soft against the neck. But like I said, I am just going to use my cotton that I have here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is sew our Velcro onto our material. So with our material, we want to put them on opposite sides. So one piece of Velcro, and it doesn't matter which one goes where, is going to go on this side on the background piece. And I'm just going to pop a pin in here. I like to put it down about three quarters of an inch to an inch from the top. Now you can measure this absolutely. I'm just kind of going to eyeball it. So I'm going to put a pin in here like this and I'll put a pin on the other side. Just make sure it's straight. Okay. So that's, of course it's going to curl up, but we'll fix that. So, that one is on the top of this one, so we want to put this one on the opposite side. Now, of course, we can turn our material, but you want to make sure that they are on opposite sides. We want to be able to put them together once this is all done. I'm just going to lay this out. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. Like this. So what I mean is our little Velcro pieces. One is on the background and one is on the front. Okay, so one is on the back piece, one is on the front piece. And so we want to be able to fold them like this so that they can wrap around the seat belt. Okay, so now we're going to take these to the sewing machine and we're going to sew them down. All I'm going to do is stitch right very close right in here, all the way around on both of those. Bring this in, get my needle in place, and I'm using a 2.4 stitch length, and I will do a little back stitch. Now, if you wanted, you could do a green color or whatever to match whatever your color is, but you know what, I'm just using black, and it will be just fine. So we're gonna sew all the way around. When you get to the end, leave your needle down and turn. Take your pin out and sew across that end and turn and continue. When you get to the end, do another little back stitch and then we're going to repeat that same thing whoops, on our front piece. So we'll just get it and lay it down. Careful of those pins. 
Ow, ow, ow. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna sew all the way around. All right. All right, so now we can start assembling this. You want your batting on the bottom, and then I take my back piece, and I'm gonna lay it down here, and I'm gonna trim up this thread, like so. And then I'm gonna take this piece, and remember, we want these on opposite sides, so I've got the Velcro up here, so when I lay this down, I want it so the Velcro is over here. And of course, it wants to curl, so we're gonna have to pin it Actually, I might use some clips. All right, let's bring in some clips. Like that, put one over here. Try to contain this little guy. These clips I purchased from Amazon and I love them. If you want, I can link them down below for you. Um, I did have, I think I told you in one other video that I had some bigger ones and I just didn't like them. They just felt too big and cumbersome to me. But these little ones are fantastic. I love them. Whoop, I gotta get that straight here. There we go. I, I love them. They just are perfect for what I need. Oops, what's going on there? There we go. All right, so now we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew all the way around the outside and we're going to end up flipping this, but we need to leave an opening. So I'm gonna leave an opening. So I'm gonna move my clip here, over here, and I'm gonna move, put this clip over here. So I'm gonna leave about a three inch opening so that I can flip this in right sides out. Okay, so we need to go to the sewing machine and we're gonna use a quarter of an inch seam with a 2.4 stitch length. All right, so when we bring this in, I'm just gonna use black thread because really, you know, it's it's kind of a complementary color for this. It will work. But if you want, you can, you know, find a color that matches with your, with your project. I'm gonna start here and I'm going to do a little back stitch first. Now I will put this down and I'm gonna do a back stitch. And I'm just gonna sew all the way around. When I get to the corner, I'm just going to put my needle down and turn and continue. I'm coming up to the end, so I'm gonna remove that clip and I'm gonna do a back stitch. And we're all done. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm going to clip my corners. This will help to reduce some of the bulk so that our corners will be nice. So we'll do that on all of these. I kind of go up the side a little bit and then across the point. So it looks like that on all four corners. Of course, be careful you don't cut into your stitch line or you'll have to go and re-stitch it. There we go. Now where our opening is, we're going to reach in here and we're gonna go in between the front material and the back material, and we're gonna turn this right sides out. I like to go into a, the corners and put it, my thumb in there and kind of push over that seam and pop it out. That helps to make those corners nice. So again, I'll just pop out those corners and do this with all four corners. One more to go here. There we go. I'll just pop the rest of that material out. And now we have this rectangle that looks like this. And I'm going to take it over to the ironing board and I'm going to press all of these seams out nice. You wanna make sure that everything is laying down really nice. And where this opening is, if you take and put your fingers just inside, it pulls the rest of it and then you can put some pins in here or clips, whatever you want to use. 
and I'm gonna take this over to the ironing board and give it a really good press. So you wanna come in and give this a good press. Make sure that all of these edges are pushed out. Now, if when you're doing this, you find that your corner isn't out all the way, remove that clip. If you have a proper poking tool, use that. I'm gonna use a pen, be very careful. And I'm gonna move it up to that corner and I'm going to gently push out that corner so it's nice. So I'm just gonna do that with all of these. Be careful you don't go through your material. And then this one. All right, so now I'm going to the pen out of the way, stick those strings down inside because you're not even going to know they're there. Give that a good press again. And I'm going to put this clip back in there just to hold it. And then I'm going to turn it over. I do not want to iron directly on this, so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to press it from the back side. I'm just pushing out those edges like that. Give it a good press. That looks good. Uh, I don't know if you heard that little noise, but I have my supervisor again. He's always keeping track of me, making sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Right, Tux? That was him yawning. He's had a hard morning already, you know. I'm going to go and do a top stitch all the way around the outside with about an eighth of an inch, okay? So right about here. So if you're looking at this up close, so maybe right about there. So just, just enough that when you sew around, one, it's going to put a nice edging all the way around, and two, it's going to close up this opening for us. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm using a 2.4 stitch length again. And I'm just going to go nice and slow, take this clip out, make sure everything is laying down nice, and away we go. When you get to the end, stitch over your stitches and do a little back stitch. Bring this in and I'll bring my little snips. We're gonna trim our threads. And that's it. We have now completed our seat belt cover. And you can make it out of whatever material you want. So I love sunflowers. The regular size one. Here's a small size one. Now, if you needed an, a, a larger one, so this one was seven by 12. Sorry, this one was seven by 10. This was seven by 12. You could probably do a seven by 14 to make it even longer. You know, if you needed something a little bit um, more across the chest. So these make wonderful little gifts. You can put them in your vehicle, have them on your seatbelt. If people want to use them, they're there. Again, you can switch out the cotton fabric for a Sherpa, like a sheep, or you could even use fur. You know that fun fur? You could probably even do that. Wouldn't that be fun? Or you could use polar fleece. Any of those would be great options for making these. And they just allow the person who's wearing the seatbelt so that that seatbelt doesn't cut into their neck. So you put it on, put it right here, and then this will protect their neck from the rough edge of the seatbelt. Fun little project, great little project, very useful project. And again, you can use whatever colors you want. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and click on that little bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Hey everybody, so I'm in my car and I just wanted to show you how the covers work. So as you can see, they fit on here really nicely. And you can move them, so, you know, depending on the height. And then this will keep the seatbelt from rubbing into your neck. Now, I don't have a problem because in my car I have a a thing here that rises up and down but if you don't have that 
absolutely these can rub on your neck so i think they work good now here's the smaller one it's the same width so it's going to fit but it's just smaller right either way you can make these and put them in your car so that when people get in they're not going to get cut by the seatbelt thank you again and happy crafting